I'm Shelby Holiday, and it's time for Barron's Buzz. Joining me to discuss the latest issue is senior editor Jack Howe. And Jack, just when you thought gold was losing its shine, the commodity's making a comeback. We it's had a bad. bumpy week of news. Yes. And you have some tips on how investors can cash in. Well, it's up like 10% uh, this year-ish, and it could have further room to run. You know how low the P.E. ratio on gold is? Of course, it's a trick question. Gold has no earnings. It has no dividends. You can't do that kind of analysis. You can't figure out what precisely it should, precisely it should be worth. But you can look at things like momentum and sentiment, and you can look at supply in the mining industry. And, uh, you know, the move could continue. When you, when you look, in addition to the price action on gold, when you look at surveys of investment managers, they were pretty bearish on gold. They're just now coming around to being a little more optimistic on the gold price. At some point, that sentiment may top out and may, may be time to sell, but it doesn't look like we're there yet. Our writer argues this run could continue. They've also brought down some of the overcapacity in the mining industry. So he has a, a sort of um, review of all the different ways you can invest in gold, and those include funds and stocks. Pay particular attention to mining shares. You get this sort of amplified impact. Uh, you know, if, if, if gold is... On its way down and you own mining shares, you'll certainly be sorry. But if it's rising like now, it's a good time to own them. All right. So we'll look for those tips. And next up, dividend growth stocks. You also have some tips on how investors can make some money on these. You know, there's, right? a, there's a study that our writer points to. Usually when you have stocks with high dividend yields versus stocks with dividends that might not be the biggest, but the dividend payments are growing each year. Throughout history, you've usually found that you pay about a 50% premium to get the dividend growers. Those are just better quality companies. They're, they're often companies with better revenue growth. They're often companies with better financial metrics. But right now, that premium has collapsed. So you can get these dividend growers at around the same price you're paying for high, div, high yield shares. And why wouldn't you want to make the switch? Because interest rates look as though they're on the way up. You right. don't want to own those uh, high yielders that act like bonds here. So. Our writer has a list of some dividend growers that you might want to favor now. Got some picks. All right. And last but not least, your cover story yes. profiles an investment manager yes. who has a very powerful voice in the conversation about retirement savings. Yes. A company that it is on, well, not as many people's minds as it would like to be on, but they're trying to do something about that. It's T. Maybe this will change it. It's T-I-A-A. You know the name if you're a teacher because they've been managing teacher money for years and years. A few years ago, they did a deal. They bought Nuveen. So now suddenly they manage this huge amount of money. They, I would say they're, given where they rank in terms of asset managers, their name recognition is on kind of the low side. They're rebranding some of their funds right now. Huh. And we've got a profile of the company, what it hopes to do going forward. They have some different funds in, in, a, in a world that seems packed with every kind of conceivable mutual fund where you'd have no new choices out there. They do have some different funds that are not available elsewhere, some different categories. And as a family, they've had fine performance over the past five years or so. So there are some good choices here for investors too. All right, so hot profile on Roger Ferguson of TIAA. You got it. Can't wait for this issue. You got it. Can't wait for this issue, Jack. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And as always, you can catch Barron's online and on weekend.